This measuring instrument is called a depth micrometer. Um, it's used, as the name implies, to measure from a surface down to another part feature. Um, so the way it works is this flat surface here sets on, on top of a part and then this rod is adjustable. Very similar to a regular micrometer, right? You twist this to get your numbers. All right, so then you get a depth from here down to here. All right, so here's an example right here. This part has a part feature that needs the depth measured from here down to here, right? It's just a bored out hole. We use this, we'll, we'll straddle it across two points, and then we'll twist this down, just like you do with a regular micrometer, all right? You're holding it down with your finger so it's nice and it's nice and flat. And you're gonna keep going until it stops and you, your ratchet clicks. You don't want to go really tight because you're gonna push this thing right off. So right until that ratchet clicks, all right, and now we're gonna read it. So I think that moved a little bit. I'm gonna check that again. Right, I see I'm right between the 12 and the 13 on this. All right, so this works similar to what you've used before with a regular outside micrometer, except the, the scale is going in the opposite direction, so you've got to be really careful reading it. So what I see here is I'm not quite at the six yet. See six, seven, eight, nine hundred thousandths, right? And I've got two lines exposed, which means <clears throat> I haven't quite gotten to 50 thousandths yet. So I'm at 500, if I go backwards, and double check, right? If I keep going back, I have the 12 here. So there's 525, right? Because I'm at one line. 525. And then I add 5, 30. 10 is 35. And then two more. So that's 537 thousandths, and it's halfway in between. So I'd say 537 and a half. But this only measures to 1,000th increments, so I can't tell exactly what the tenths are on this. But that's how we use a depth micrometer. It's really just for one type of, a, a, you know, a, a measurement style. All right. Don't use them all the time, but it's good to know what they are and how to use them.